This question appeared from the topic mixtures. It's a medium level difficulty question. It appeared as the seventh question of the 33 questions in Exeria 2015. The way the question is worded is actually quite interesting. Sometimes I would even call it, this, it's been a little, it's a little conf confusing. Right. Let's have a look at the question. Product M is produced by mixing chemicals X and Y. We'll just go through the flow and note these points down. M actually contains X and Y. Forget the ratio, we'll come to the ratios when we actually solve the question. Right now, we'll just jot down these points. But X and Y in turn are not independent chemicals. X comprises A and B, right? That's what they're saying. In some ratio, it comprises A and B. Y is also not a simple chemical. It's a ratio, it's a mixture of two things. It comprises B and C. So what is M going to comprise? Because it comprises X and Y, it's going to comprise A, B and C. So M is going to have A, B and C. So this is what is given from the first two, three statements. Now they have talked about M is not the end of the story. There is a final mixture, we'll call it as F. The final mixture is prepared by taking 864 units of M we are taking and we are going to add some units of water to it. That's how the final mixture is obtained. The twist in the tail is the last sentence, which basically says that the, if the concentration of raw material B, you actually make F by mixing M with water, but M comprises B in it, they are saying the amount of B found in F is 50%. So B is equal to 50% of F. So this is what they are saying. What do we have to find out? We need to find out how much water has been added to it. I know there are there is 864 units of M. So if you have to find out how much water is there, if there is some way I can find out how much F is there totally, we can find that out. Step back to this one. If I have to find out how much F is there, if there is some way I can find out how much B is there, twice the amount of B is the amount of F that I am going to have. Now, therefore, the first step is to determine how much B, B in 864 units of M, how much is it if I am able to find this value, we actually have the answer to this question. So what we are going to do as step one, we are going to find out what is the fraction, what fraction of M is B. If I have 100 units of M, how many units of that is going to be B is our first step. Let's get started with that. Right. We are going to compute the fraction of raw material B in M. We will start with the information given to us. M is produced by mixing chemical X and Y in the ratio of 5 is to 4. So obviously 5 ninth of M is chemical X and 4 ninth of M is chemical Y. Let's get into what does X comprise. It comprises A and B in the ratio of 1 is to 3. My interest is in finding out how much B is there in it. 3 fourths of X is going to be B. So how much will M comprise of B from X? It's basically going to be the combination of these two. 5 ninths of M is actually X. 3 fourths of X is B. Therefore, the fraction of B in product M from chemical X is going to be 5 by 9 into 3 by 4. So we have found out one part of the story. Now let's repeat the same thing for chemical Y. In chemical Y, the ratio of B is to C is 2 is to 1. Our interest is only about B. So 2 thirds of Y is B. Repeat the same thing. Fraction of B in product M coming from chemical Y is actually 4 ninth of M is Y. So 4 by 9 into this value 1 by 3. So this is the amount of B that you will find in M which has been contributed by chemical Y. So how much M will be totally available, how much B will be totally available in M? It's a sum of 1 and 2, right? Fraction of B in M is a fraction of B from X and a fraction of B from Y which is essentially these two numbers. Add these two and take the common denominator and add it up. This results in that 77 by 108 of M is equal to B. In other words, if I have 108 units of M, 77 units of that is going to be B. That's what this basically boils down to. The next step, we'll actually find the answer. Let us find the amount of water. Let's start with this process. The final product is obtained by mixing 864 units of product M with water. So how much of B will be there? If there is one unit of M in that 77 by 108 is going to be B. We have 864 units of M. 
therefore the amount of b in it is going to be 864 into 77 by 108 is actually will beautifully cancel out as an 8 so the answer is going to be equal to 616 so in 864 units of product m how much b do we have we have 616 units of b in it which is what we wanted to find out in the first step so how much units of f will we have in f b accounts for 50% So twice this, two times of six one six will give you the amount of F you have. So the final mixture is going to be equal to one two three two units. So we got this also in place. Of these one two three two units, you know eight sixty four is them. The balance should be water. So how much water will be there? Three sixty eight units of water is there. Choice B is the correct answer. We're looking for exactly preparation assistance. We go to places exactly dot ascent education dot com. be it free questions in your mailbox if you sign up for our yahoo groups or free videos with explanation for past year zat papers by subscribing to our youtube channels or if you are one of those who wants a classroom program join our classes at chennai and bangalore